Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3D of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 87 and the question is number 7. It reads, a bullet is fired from a gun fixed at point zero with speed v meters per second at an angle of theta to the horizontal. At the instant of firing, a moving target is 10 meters vertically above zero and traveling with constant speed 42 root 2 meters per second at an angle 45 degrees to the horizontal. The bullet and target move in the same plane. If V is 70 meters per second and tan, the tan theta is 4 thirds, find at what time after firing does the bullet strike the target and calculate the horizontal distance of the bullet from zero. I'm also asked to show that the minimum angle for, we'll say, interception is, is theta is equal to 4 thirds, tan theta is equal to 4 thirds. So, this is pretty straightforward. I've drawn um, a sketch of the diagram or a sketch of the motion. The only thing that's really important here is to note that S sub Y for the target is 10 meters greater than S sub Y for the bullet. So you need to add, uh, so the target you need to will say, um, yeah, you just need to account for that basically is what I'm saying to you. All right, so what we'll do is this. We will begin with our UVAST. I'm not gonna go into much detail with the UVAST. So we'll say S sub Y of the bullet is equal to ut plus a half at squared. So it is u times the sine of alpha t plus g over 2 t squared. And sine of alpha is equal to, uh, is equal to, if we have it over here, it's 4 fifths. Alright, so, um, and also we're given that u is equal to 70. So if you just rearrange that, you'll find out the following. You'll find out that it's 56 t minus g or plus g over 2 t squared like so and similarly if you do s sub y for the target you're going to get 10 which is the, the extra distance plus its speed which is 42 root 2 times the sine of 45 plus uh, half 0 t squared now the fundamental thing here is we're told that the target is not accelerating so somehow it's, it, it, it's, it's, its acceleration vector is zero. So just to explain this, if this is the gravity vector here, somehow uh, the, we'll say the particle or the, the, the target has got an engine of some sort. And the engine is also accelerating the target. And we'll say it's accelerating it in a spiral that works in this direction. All right, so this we'll say is G and this is, we'll call that A. So the overall acceleration vector is equal to a minus g, and turns out, because it's done in a certain way, it turns out to be zero. So the net acceleration vector is zero. So that's why I had zero in here. So of course, when the two target or two uh, particles hit each other, they intercept. S sub y of the bullet is equal to s sub y of the target. So let them equal, and if you do that, you'll get the following: you'll get 56t minus now, g over 2 is negative 4.9 t squared, and that will be equal to 10 plus 42 t. Remember, sine of 45 is 1 over root 2. So let's just rearrange that. So we get 49 t squared minus 140 t plus 100 is equal to 0. Now, I will usually solve this. Uh, actually, let's speak about this first. So this is a quadratic. Now, it's a polynomial of degree 2. That means it has powers. And the powers here are 2, 1, and 0. The highest power is 2. So it's a polynomial of degree 2, which we call a quadratic. And usually we solve a quadratic by saying minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, where in this case, a is plus 49, b is negative 140, and c is plus 100. And I usually say stick with that, but to be honest, I'm going to be a bit lazy and solve it as follows, saying that it's 7t minus 10 times 7t minus 10, that's equal to 0. All right, so we're going to get that 7t is equal to 10, t is equal to 10 over 7 seconds. And that is correct. All right, so that was reasonably straightforward. What else do you have to find out here? We have to ca ca calculate, excuse me, the uh, the horizontal distance covered by the particle. 
So the next thing we need to do is get S sub X. Okay, so where's my rubber here? All right, so get rid of that there. So S sub X. So the acceleration is going to be zero for the, we'll say the target. So S sub X will be equal to UT plus a half AT squared. So it's going to be U cos of 45 times T plus zero, we'll say. So this is one over root two. So it's 42 root two over root two times T is equal to 42t. All right, so s of x is equal to 42t. We know what t is, so we have 42 times 10 over 7. That turns out to be 60 meters, which is correct. And that was reasonably straightforward also. And the last thing we need to do is show that tan theta equals 3 quarters is the minimum we need. So we need tan theta, tan theta, is equal to three quarters. Now, usually when I'm minimizing functions, I will find a function and I will differentiate it and set it to zero. I find that the best way of doing it. However, we're not actually able to get a suitable function here uh, because, first of all, the condition for interception is s sub y is equal to s, um, s sub y and s sub x is equal to s sub x. Or you could say that the both position vectors are equal or displacement vectors are equal. But when you do this, you don't get a suitable, a suitable equation. I'm not really going to go into why you don't, but just, just trust me, it doesn't really work. So let's just have a look at this first of all. If we go S sub X is equal to S sub X. So S sub X of the bullet, S sub X of the target. So this was 70 times the cos of theta times T. And this is equal to 42 root 2 times the cos of 45, which is 1 over root 2, times t. Alright, of course we can cancel the t's. The root 2's cancel. And you're left with the cos theta is equal to 42 over 70. And what's that equal to? Uh, once again, my arithmetic is going to let me down, so I'm going to use my calculator. 3 fifths. So if the cosine is 3 fifths, then the tangent is 3 quarters, uh, tan alpha, or theta, whatever, I, keep, I get those angles mixed up there. So that is correct. Now, I'm going to show you a more rigorous way of doing that, and that's by using S sub y. Alright, so I'm just going to rub out all of this. So, we had S sub y being equal to S sub y, and we had the following, we had 10 plus 42t, is equal to 70 times the sine of theta times t minus 4.9 t squared. So, if we rearrange this, of course, and bring all the, the t squareds and t's together, we will get something along these lines. 49 times t squared plus 420 minus 700 sine theta. You multiply it across, of course, by 10. That's times t plus 100 is equal to 0. Now we want to, this is the function I was saying, if you let them equal you get this function here and we'll say this is f of, uh, it, it would be f of t and theta. Now believe it or not, this you could, you could minimize this but you'd have to use something called the method of Lagrange multipliers whereby you would have a function subject to a constraint and obviously we're not doing that so let's, uh, let's do something different. Now, if I want to solve this equation, if I need to solve this equation, you're going to have to use the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, we are dealing with real numbers or physical quantities, like you need a positive time. You need, um, the, the magnitude of your velocity has to be real, for example. So, you can't have an, an imaginary time or imaginary uh, position. So, you can't have like 4 iota, that means nothing. That's, it's, it's a mathematical just uh, construct just for solving things, but it has no physical meaning. However, this formula will give you imaginary and real numbers. So, basically, we need to solve this such that we only get real numbers. And how we get that is by looking in here. And in order to get a real number, 
in this formula you must have the following constraint b squared is greater than 4ac if it is less than 4ac then we get the square root of, an imag or of a negative number which means we get uh, imaginary numbers so let's just do this here we need b squared minus 4 or to be greater excuse me than 4ac so i'm going to draw that in red that's our constraint so let's just do that and we're going to get 420 minus 700 sine theta must be greater than 19600 just do a small bit of a uh, small bit of work in your calculator and you'll get that all right now a little trick here it's called the difference of two squares so where you have x squared minus y squared it's the same as x minus y times x plus y that's just something that's often very handy to use so are we able to use it here and I think we are so if we do the following oh by the way sorry excuse me the reason we are able to do that is after missing something here excuse me that's squared of course all right so we're able to use the difference of two squares here by saying we have 420 minus 700 sine sine theta to be squared is less than 140 to be squared so we get the following we get in a different borrow we get 420 minus 700 sine theta to be squared times or yeah uh, times x minus y x plus y oh let me think oh yeah plus 140 we're missing something here excuse me now i'm just getting a bit a bit ahead of myself which i shouldn't be doing so i'll start that again you're going to get the following you're going to get 140 minus 700 sine theta plus 140 or plus 100 140 yes when i draw 400 for some reason squared times 420 minus 700 sine minus 140 squared and that must be greater than zero yeah you can see that there all right so let's do a small bit of manipulation here and we get that 560 minus 700 sine of theta must be greater than zero then now we're just dealing with inequalities and we're going to get 700 sine theta is greater than negative 560 here like so and if you just rearrange that you'll find that sine theta must be less than four fifths and of course that corresponds to a tan of three fifths or excuse me a tan of three quarters all right so we're doing pretty good for ourselves uh, we're doing pretty good for ourselves just one sec there now so if we take my notes out of your face we go back to what we had a moment ago we go back to what we had a moment ago we had uh, no actually actually no I'm happy enough with that there's no need to keep going on with that so what I'll do is I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.